Hi, this is the PC Expert Amateur, and uh, sometimes when you buy stuff online, you don't get what you buy. <coughs> now, there have been uh, several times where I've noticed that uh, there was something scammy about a product, and I let Amazon or Newegg know about it, and they generally don't do anything about it. Um, this time around, I bought a fan that I thought was an RGB fan. It was the LS120 by an unknown manufacturer. Uh, as in, I don't know what the manufacturer's name is. Um, it came in this box here. Whoops. And as you can see, you know, really snazzy, lots of information. <laughs> um, unfortunately, it's garbage because what they gave me was this. Now, hold on. Does this look like this? No, I don't think so. So... What is this? That is the question. I do not know. I remember when I was looking at these fans on Amazon, I saw a lot of different vendors selling these. And I so I knew they were, you know, just this generic run of the mill uh, fan that was being made by some company that was then selling it to whoever wanted to buy it for however much, you know, I'm sure they paid almost nothing for it. And so there's no information visible on here. It is a two wire Molex D connector and it's got these ridges on the corners. I, for what purpose that I don't know. Um, and this has the actual uh, diameter of the fan itself is about uh, 10 and a half centimeters. So it's not even, you know, like a 120, 120. I'm not sure how they yeah, well, the, the ring is 120, so, yeah. But um, I know virtually nothing about this since I don't have the right thing to plug it into my uh, tester that'll tell me how many RPMs it moves at. I can't guess that. Um, so, really, I'm kind of stuck right here. And if anybody happens to know, you know, I would, uh, you know, love to know. I bought this from V Best Life on Amazon and uh, it's no longer on Amazon. What a surprise. And it was only five and a half dollars. So it's not like I got a bad deal. But so again, um, I it's it's just a red LED LED. Now there it's not RGB. It's a red LED. And there is one interesting thing about it. The 12 or so LEDs that are in the hub here, when they shoot out their light, the light hits this ring and it actually catches the light and redirects it from the hub to go out from the ring itself, which is kind of cool looking. And I haven't uh, really seen that before. So, you know, this is a very, you know, low quality fan. It doesn't move fast. It doesn't, you know, theoretically, it's got 38 CFM. And f for the life of me, I can't tell you much else other than that. Uh, let's see. 12 volts, 3 watts, 0.25 amps, and 4 screws. There are no indicators of rotation and flow, but it turns in a clockwise direction. What a surprise. Uh, what else can I tell you about it? Uh, it weighs 95 grams. I don't know what kind of bearing it's got. Um, seven blades, yeah. It's really a mystery. It only has one certification from CE. And, yeah, so I do want to show you that interesting effect that this uh, creates. That the, this plastic creates. So let's uh, see if we can do that for you.
This should be lots of fun. As I now struggle to figure out a way to demonstrate this to you, but I'm not going to be able to do that very easily. All right, so clearly I'm going to have to move the camera around again so that I can attempt to show you this lovely mess I have on the floor, but primarily to show you the interesting visual effect on this fan. Now, as you can see, the light, although it appears that there should be LEDs in the ring itself, the LEDs are not in the ring. They're in the hub. And the somehow this kind of plastic redirects the light that way. And I think that that's just kind of, kind of cool looking, especially when it's like this. I wish it had multiple colors. I think that would be very interesting. Too bad it's not an actual RGB fan. I think that uh, somebody should do something with this where they take advantage of that effect of this particular kind of plastic. But that's all I can tell you. I mean, there's nothing more. I don't even know the model number. Mm. So, what's it good for? Well, aside from perplexing me and um, having an interesting visual effect, I wouldn't use it for anything other than decorative purposes. It's just not powerful enough. It's lame. Yes, it's lame. Don't know what to tell you. So, the mystery is being shared to all of you. If anybody thinks they know what it is, please let me know in the comments and provide a link to it so I can try to verify whether what you found is what I have or not. And again, it, this is garbage. So, all right. Well, that is it. This is the shortest review. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.